Hi there. As part of our revision of game theory, let's take a look at the simple prisoner's dilemma. So in the prisoner's dilemma, two prisoners are held in a separate room and cannot communicate with each other. They're both suspected of a crime and they can either confess to the crime or they can deny. In other words, they can either choose to remain silent or they can betray each other. The payoffs shown in this table, are, in the matrix table, are, are years in prison or months in prison from their chosen course of action. So, for example, if both prisoners choose to remain silent, they'll get six months each in prison. If they both choose to betray each other, they'll get five years each. If prisoner A stays silent, they get, they get ten years. Prisoner B is released. And if prisoner A betrays, but prisoner B stays silent, prisoner A is released, but prisoner B gets ten years. So let's look at the basic analysis of the prisoner's dilemma and ask the question, what is the best strategy for each prisoner? Well, equilibrium in the game happens when each player takes a decision which maximises the outcome for them, given the actions of the other player in the game. Now, in our example here, in the prisoner's dilemma, the dominant strategy for each player, both player A and player B, is to betray, in other words, to confess. Because this is a course of action likely to minimise the average number of years or months they might expect to remain in prison. So the dominant strategy is to betray. However, if they both choose uh, to do that, they get five years in prison. And that is higher, much higher than if they both choose to stay silent, to deny any involvement in the crime. They both get six months. So in following their own narrowly defined self-interest, both prisoners make themselves worse off. And that's why there's a prisoner's dilemma aspect to this game. That said, even if both prisoners choose to stay silent uh, and indeed could communicate to agree this course of action, then any agreement they have to remain silent uh, is fragile. They have an incentive to cheat and uh, betray and therefore reduce their own spell in custody. Indeed, they'd be let off. So if we're asked to comment on the best strategies for each game, each player, and the, leak, the likely outcome in the game, the Prisoner's Dilemma tells, tells us that actually the equilibrium is when each player is taking the best possible action for himself or herself, given the actions of the other player. There's a dominant strategy, and that's the unique best strategy regardless of the other player's actions. And if they're working their own self-interest, they'll reach an equilibrium of betray, betray, which is worse, in fact it's worse off for both, than if they could have agreed to an alternative non-dominant strategy which is to stay silent. In other words, both prisoners could do better by colluding and choosing to remain silent. However, we know that if they choose to do that, there's an incentive to cheat. So this is the basic prisoner's dilemma, and it can be applied to lots of different situations, particularly in oligopolistic market structures.